Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a makeup tutorial on this look, which is a prom, normal night kind of look. This video is in collaboration with the lovely Laurie of LX3 Bell XOXO. This is not my first collaboration with her. The previous one I did with her was a Valentine's Day one, which I would link somewhere down below. Basically, she would do, you know, the outfit, fashion kind of videos, and I would do the makeup look that we coordinate with the outfit and this is exactly the same except it'll be a prom version of it so if you want to check out her video to see what outfits you can wear with this look I'll leave that in the, in the description bar below and I'll also link it somewhere around here and at the end of the video I would also like to apologize if my voice is sounding a bit nasally I am sick right now, I came down with the flu over the weekend um, you can always put on mute and just see the steps of this video, I guess. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. As always with a lot of my videos, I skip out on filming the foundation routine just because that takes up a lot of time. So for my foundation, I went with the Maybelline um, Super Stay Makeup. This foundation is perfect for nights out, especially when you know you're going to be sweating or you're going to be out all night or something because this really stays put. To set my foundation, I went in with the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. Again, I have oily skin, so this really helps control oiliness. To fill in my eyebrows, I went in with the Maybelline Master Smoky Eye Pencil. Basically, it is supposed to be used to create a smoky eye, but then I just go in with an angled brush, get a bit of the color, and then fill in my eyebrows that way. As always, when it comes to putting on eyeshadow and stuff, always, always, always prime your lids. I went in with the balm, put a lid on it, which is just, you know, your standard clear primer. Use whatever primer you want. I applied that all over my lid, as well as underneath my eyes, because those are the points where I do want to apply eyeshadow and I really don't want it to budge. To start the highlighting process, I went in with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in Cottage Cheese. It is just your standard shimmery uh, silver shade. Because it's in a pencil form, it's so easy to pinpoint and kind of like draw on where you want to highlight. I just put it underneath my eyebrow, just where the arch is and the inner corners of my eyes. I then took a brush and used it to blend out the shade so that there are no harsh lines. To give the eyes a bit more definition, I wanted to go ahead and contour and kind of do like a slight cut crease along my eyelid kind of thing. I don't know what palette or collection this is from. To start defining my eye, I picked up a bit of this matte brown in light taupe and using a angled fluffy brush I just applied this all along my crease and blend that shade upwards. I then wanted to set a base for my shadows and I went in with NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in pure gold. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So with that shade I applied it all over my lid blending that color into the defining taupe color that we applied into the crease as well as the cottage cheese shade we applied um, on the inner corners of our eyes. Like I said before, this look is going to be really bright, really shimmery and because towards the end of the look, we are going to be applying a pair of pretty, you know, intense, dramatic eyelashes. I just wanted to open the eyes out a bit more and make the eyes the focal point of your face. To highlight the inner corners of the eyes, I went in with this really pale champagne color and it's called Flesh Tone. Again, this is from the Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette. And I'm pretty sure you can buy this individually. I just have all of mine in a um, palette like this. Really gorgeous. Apply this onto the inner corners of your eyes. Once that's done, I applied HP ME23. And this is kind of like a shimmery dark brown, really antique gold shade. This I placed onto the outer corners of my eyes and I left a gap on the middle part of my eyes because we're going to be applying another shade of brown slash gold there to kind of transition it from light to dark. And that shade that we're placing in the middle of our eyes is HP Me 22, again from the Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette kind of thing. This is more of like a medium taupey color. It's just, again, full of shimmer and it's such a pretty shade and will help highlight, you know, your eyes. Once you're happy with the transitioning of the colors, if anything's missing or if any of the colors got a bit washed out, just go back in and fix it up until you're happy with it and you get a smooth transition. Between applying all the colors, I like to get a clean blending brush and just blend it out 
just so that there are no harsh lines at all. <clears throat> and to finish this whole look off, I'm just using a generic matte black eyeshadow. This is NYX's eyeshadow in black. And I am applying this onto the outer V of my eyes and blending it inwards and outwards. You want to do quite a fair bit of blending with the black because you don't want it to be really, really, you know, harsh. You kind of want it to be a soft black effect onto the end. And this just helps darken the look and stuff. For eyeliner, I used Bobbi Brown's Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black. And I used a really teeny tiny um, pinpoint eyeliner brush and just drew in a pretty thick and dramatic winged um eyeliner. Because this is going to be a look for prom or ball or whatever black tie event that you have going on in your life, I wanted it to be really dramatic so I used a pair of really intensely dramatic eyelashes. And these are the cheap ones that you can get off eBay. They're pretty full and dramatic. I did cut a bit off so that it fits my eyes better. Apply a pair of dramatic eyelashes if you want. If you don't, then go for whatever eyelashes you feel comfortable with. I just thought that dramatic eyes deserve dramatic eyelashes. Once I have the eyelashes on, I thought uh, this look just needed something like something else. It just didn't look right because the top part of my eyelids were just really heavy in comparison to the bottom so it kind of didn't really balance out. To balance the look out, I ran NYX's Jumbo Pencil in cottage cheese all along my waterline and then on the outer third of my lower lash line, I applied Maybelline's Masterline um, eyeliner pencil. This is just, you know, your generic black coal eyeliner pencil and by applying it onto the outer part of your eyes, it kind of helps open up your eyes and it also helps balance out the whole look so it doesn't look too top heavy. Because the eyes are really dramatic, I wanted to kind of tone it down on the blush. For blush, I used Milani's Baked Blush and this is in Luminoso. Favorite, favorite, favorite blush by far. As you can see, the dome is basically kind of gone or barely there. I use this as an everyday blush because it gives you a very nice, subtle, peachy glow. Of course, I couldn't do this look without contouring and highlighting my face. And I went in with Illamasqua Sculpting Powder Duo. So you guys should by now kind of know how to contour and highlight your face because I kind of say it all the time in every one of my video. To contour, you're going to apply it onto the lower, um, the hollows of your cheeks, slightly on your temples, and I don't know what this is called, hairline area and your jawline and to highlight you're gonna go down your nose high points of your cheekbones and that's basically it oh yeah and also when you're contouring don't forget to contour the sides of your nose it's really up to you what you want to go for i decided that i wanted a more bright you know colorful lip shade and this is maybelline's color sensational in fiesta flesh you can always tone down the color by applying a lip gloss that is a more nude shade or something like that. As an example, I'll be using OCC's little lip tar sample I got and this is an interlace. Yeah. Ta-da! So the colors kind of dulled down a bit more. It's actually completely transformed it into like a baby pink shade. Of course, you can just completely not do that and just apply a new colored shade if you totally want. As I said before, I just want to do something different. Yeah, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. And for those of you who are going to prom, I hope you guys have a blast. Party safe. And don't forget to check out Laurie's video, which I will link down bar and at the end when I stop talking. Also, congratulations to the winner. Watch till the end of the video to figure out who that is and I'll also have a little mention down below. Congratulations! I would have probably messaged you by now. Hopefully you've gotten back to me so I can send out your price. I'll stop talking now. <laughs> See ya. The travel makeup case I used when I went away on holiday was this huge one. It's from Revlon and I bought it from Priceline.